So this is the shenanigans that I put up with. So I ended up cutting up some strawberries and clearly she got food in her hair, like I said. Ugh. But I ended up just putting the shirt on her. I had the bib on her that was keeping her clean, but I cut up some strawberries and gave it to her, but I guess it leaks, which is it's supposed to. And now she already stained up her shirt. And I don't know if it's point, any point to, I don't want this. If it's pointless or not to actually put a bib on her because she already killed the shirt. So after she eats this, I have to change this off. It just, I'm not, I know it probably looks like I'm like overwhelmed. In some ways I can be some days. It's just kind of like, this is why it's hard to vlog because balancing the two and making sure Nala's not trying to kill herself is a lot. She is starting to climb couches. She don't have many places to go. Look at her, she's trying to, exactly my point. And clearly I don't have any wall right here. So I know she don't have no sense of danger because the other day I tried to change on the changing table and I was getting her up to like pick her up so I let her like kind of stand herself up while I was trying to get ready and she was <laughs> she was about to walk off the chain to, to the point to where she like dropped off and I caught her and I'm just kind of like what's up though what's up so that's why I really don't like her climbing the couches but also a lot of it could be the energy I'm putting out is that I'm kind of tired. I don't know at what point the video is going to come out, but we've been doing our floors. And for over a month now, which is another reason why the the videos haven't been coming. Most of the time I stay up to 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning doing the floors. And last night I stayed up to like 4.30. And it's just very exhausting. And now Ellie, Ellie is wanting to sit up. So let's sit her up. So that's all I wanted. All I wanted is to sit up. But yeah, um, I don't even know what I was talking about. Let's talk a little bit about motherhood and juggling, being a stand out mom and stuff like that. It is, as you can see, a little chaotic. I do feel like for the most part, I got a good grasp of everything. But at the same time, I have days where it's just like, I'm sleep deprived, I am exhausted, I'm doing a lot. Um, it feels like I never get it enough rest. I definitely have learned to sleep when they're sleeping, but today I'm probably not gonna really be able to nap when they usually nap. Usually like 11 right now, it is 10.23 because Noelle actually just got up like at 9.30. She hasn't been up long enough to really be sleepy. Yeah. She likes watching TV. So I'm gonna still try to put her to sleep so I can sleep when Nala sleep, cause Nala sleeps two hours. Most time it's even an hour and a half, but I do not let her out the room until two hours up. So I want her to learn a little bit of patience. And she has learned a lot of patience with that, but in other places she is not patient at all. And I think that is to the fault of us being home, her used to getting what she wants, which wasn't a big deal, but now that I have to distribute my time between the two, it's more of a big deal. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but like I said, I'm, I'm human, I'm balancing. I do think I'm blessed for sure that I'm able to have David home twice a week to help more so I can get more sleep on those days. I think it will get better once we're done with these floors. Because I do all the night feedings as well as most of the floors. If y'all don't follow me on Snapchat, follow me on Snapchat because David is always sleeping. <laughs>
do some floors or I did this section last night that she just walked past. So now it's the first time her touching it. But I will get up eventually to show you guys what the hallway is looking like. But in the video you will see before this one you will see what it did look like. And clearly as you can see the floors are filthy and it irks or irks my soul. So I can't wait to pull this up so that when we have spills and stuff like that it's not worse. Because about time Noelle gets mobile this floor will be destroyed. So I'm glad we're trying to do that before she gets mobile. Which will be another stage in the crazy. I think a lot in the beginning was simple but now it's like a little harder because now... Noelle don't want to relax as much and yeah it's 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 a balance it's it goes in our faces but I think once I'm able to get the floors done and don't have to be up so late and be up so early I think it will get a lot better you want to talk to the people do you like seeing yourself <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Do you want to show them? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is what a dream. You chewing my finger? Are you chewing my finger? Yeah. Mm. So, I just actually put Nala down. This one. And give her this microphone. Say, ah. Uh, ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> yeah, so I just put Nala down. It is 10.53. Your girl is exhaust. So exhaust, but like I said, I don't think she is gonna go down, but we can try. I'm gonna, I already changed her. So we got her changed and time to put her in her little sleep pod and lay down in the bed and let's hope that she gets some sort of sleepiness with the sound machine. Alright, I'm back. So it's very much a weird day. It is 2.30, actually 2.35. And Nala and Noel are still sleeping. For some reason, somebody decided to start cutting grass at 12 and was by um, Nala window. So she kind of woke up and stayed up almost the whole hour from 12 to no, it was like 11.35 to almost 1 she was awake. I was going to sleep on and off from that time just looking at her to see if she was asleep yet and she wasn't. So I think that might have tired her out because she was still in her crib. I really hate being asleep while she is up because I am so afraid of her trying to climb out her crib because the crib is starting to get like at this level over her. And at a certain point you got to kind of... Um, get ready to transition when they're at a point to where they could potentially climb out. So we almost at that point So now I've been in debate in the last like 10 minutes trying to see if I want to get her up or just let her sleep uh, Either way she has a four o'clock nap uh, She's not gonna make that nap 
so I'm debating just to let her sleep as long as she wants to sleep and then whenever she wakes up don't allow her to go back to sleep just let her stay up Noel she's sleepy I'm just gonna let her sleep too uh so I think I'll just take this time to keep sipping my coffee I made a couple doctor's appointments probably do some editing and I'm pretty sure by the time I start get started she's gonna be up so let's just do that while I can. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but someone is cutting grass now. But look at this. Can y'all hear? Now my other neighbor cutting grass. I just woke up Nala. Well, I tell you, about the time I really get settled in on doing it, it's gonna be time. So I'm gonna try to edit for like five more minutes just to feel like I did something extra and then go get her up. So, time to find no well an outfit as well as Nala but as you can see I have a bit of organization to do because I took all the clothes out her cubbies and, and everything and I'm planning on doing like a decoloring video so that's why it's kind of up here like that but I need to find an outfit because of quarantine, it has been really easy to not put them in actual outfits, but they're still growing. So I'm kind of wasting a lot of outfits. So I'm gonna try to start putting them in whole outfits. Maybe not so much no L, but if the outfit's cute, that's totally fine. I'm gonna just take those as picture opportunities, but definitely, uh, starting to outgrow some clothes, so I want to start putting especially Nala into whole outfits. So look at this outfit, ain't that cute for Nala? I'm gonna put Nala probably into this one. I wonder if I can find the other one like this that is similar to Noelle's, and then they could be little twins today. That'll be cute. This is kind of similar. Oh, it's a, almost exactly, actually. This is not the outfits I was looking for, but look. Look at this one, see? And look at this one. They're both lemons, just different tones of lemons. <laughs> Trying to see if we can get some good pictures. Oh, that looks so cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Try. 
Now nah, look, sit back down. Sit down. No, I'm looking like you ready or not? Nala Paula. Stop. Nala. Hey, <laughs> baby. <laughs> No, you sitting up. Yeah. Say, I sit. Ooh, don't pull your head, girl. Don't do that. That hurt. Don't do that. No way. Don't do that. No way. Yeah. 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 Got the dress, get the little mini. Try to get some pictures, but this one is not cooperative. I thought it was just yesterday, but it's today too. And Noelle's over there, y'all see? I got them in the little lemon outfits that I picked out. I'm gonna have to go through these and really figure out, you know, what's the best. Cause David, as you can see, had to do a lot of like yeah, tickling. Look at the, uh, photos through my phone too. But, we got a couple good shots. As you can see, the juggle is real. They might be going to bed early today. But they're over here, as you can see, David's home. Let me wipe the camera. Hey, you want your microphone? Yeah, David's home and we did a little shoot, so. Lord. <laughs> I told you it's the off days. Both y'all? They got they got their milk. <laughs> oh Lord. Let's go make some milk. Look at her. Mm -hmm. You just mad because you ain't get that phone. Mm-hmm. Alright, so the girls finally got their milks. They are looking like two little Irish twins right now. Nala, for some reason at nighttime, she really loves to have the small bottle, so I let her be great, and now she's like a little diva at this point. She still doesn't understand no. She don't understand a lot of words, but she understand her name and little stuff like that. So that's a little frustration, frustrating because I don't know. Shit, it's like her beat toes. And I don't know if that's because she's home so much. That she just don't have other avenues to figure out her behaviors and stuff like that. I think like she's that. just home a lot and she's bored, so she's just trying to she find did. something to do right. with her energy. Right. Like, I was looking up um, schools and stuff. You know Montessori schools start at uh, 12 months. So there's like daycares or whatever, but I'm talking about like school. Mm -hmm. So the school aspects of it, you know how like here in Florida it's usually like four? Mm -hmm. Some of the schools start one and a half. Some of them start two and a half. You can start like their pre-K and stuff. Mm -hmm. And head start. And whatnot. Mm -hmm. And they also have half days. So Zaya from Raven at least TV. We love her. And the vlogs we were watching with Raven. She said that Zaya <laughs> went to Montessori school. Mm -hmm. But anywho, yeah, so... I feel bad because I think a lot of this behavior stuff is because she's just bored. So it's just a whole lot, but it's to the point where it's like something gotta give soon because this girl is going insane. So to be continued on that, but like I said again, David's home and the babies because they weren't on a good schedule today from the lawnmower situation. They're going to go to bed early, as you can see. No, Ellie Ellie is on her way to passing out already. <laughs> and Nala's just chilling. It's only, I think, 5.45, 6 o'clock. So what you thinking they go to bed at 7, 7.30? I don't think Noelle's going to make it to 7. I'll go ahead and put her to bed. And if we can make Nala till 7, then... So, yeah, I really want to do a night routine, so... That's another reason why I'm not going to be filming and I already changed them, wiped them down and all that stuff. So, uh, I'm just going to probably just have them go to bed. Maybe have Nala just take a bath, but Noelle is done. So, I'm not going to force her into a bath tonight. 
so i think that's gonna be all i really did hope that this video came out to be something this is just life and the way it is right now it's just a big transition at the moment definitely love you guys and i guess we'll just see you guys in the next one in the next one see ya bye all right ready <laughs> look at this one Thank you.